Hello guys, this is Max from MHS Prod and today we will learn how to create some backgrounds with Trapcode Tao like in the video for Bro Safari. If you follow us on Instagram, you maybe saw uh, this short video. Um, this is an extract from uh, the very nice video Bro Safari Reality uh, fit, fit Sarah Hudson. So this is a short video I made with Cinema 4D, ZBrush and Daz for the characters, and After Effects for this kind of cool abstract background with Trapcode Tao. So today we will focus on how to recreate this uh, very cool abstract background. You will see that uh, it's very simple and easy to create. The the focus uh, is uh, on how to make something which looks, which looks cool very quickly. So um, I can uh, invite you to uh, watch in the uh, links this video and you maybe uh, enjoy all this kind of short uh, effects I made. Uh, I used, for example, the Twist Deformer in C4D for this kind of crazy effects. Uh, I used random effectors for this kind of displacement and uh, other tips. Uh, so I uh, invite you to uh, maybe ask me some questions if uh, you want to uh, know more about this video. So uh, now we will uh, learn to do this cool background. I use Trapcode Tao because uh, it was very easy and uh, simple uh, to achieve a cool looking and it's render very fast. So the deadline was short on this project and I need to have uh, a kind of long sequence and I need to avoid some uh, huge render time. So I choose to uh, focus on uh, not creating all the stuff in C4D and use the tool I have in After Effects. So um, maybe for you, I will start new project uh, and um, we can do all the steps together. Uh, you will see that uh, that is very simple. Uh, so this tutorial is for everyone uh, who starts After Effects and have um, the trap code uh, suite. So uh, I will alt click here to jump to 16 bit per channel and hit command N to create a new composition. I will uh, set the length to uh, 10 seconds and I let you choose uh, all the settings you want. So I will hit OK and think about how I will do that. So this is uh, only a three layers composition. You have a background with a, a ramp, you have the trap code Tao and you have a layer with color grading and a vignette. So uh, I will create two solids. I will call this one background and a second one uh, called um, Tao. Uh, I use um, command uh, Y to create new solids. You can create solids uh, here and create here. So you see um, that's this shortcut. And I will now create an effect layer uh, to have my color correction. So I will call that uh, CC. Uh, this is cool for me to have different kind of colors to uh, jump quickly when you have huge uh, composition. I will create then a camera, but for the moment I will just focus on these three layers. Uh, for the background, I use a cool uh, free um, plugin uh, called YYRAMP Plus. YYRAMP Plus is uh, very nice because uh, I will show you uh, right now. You have your uh, simple ramp, which is uh, 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 it's a very nice effect. You have all that you need. You have uh, two kind of ramps, you have um, uh, the skater options and 
Uh, this is very nice for most of the case. You have uh, to the possibility of creating uh, some um, ramp with the calc styles, uh, and you have then more options like you have some uh, ramp like that or diamond ramps. But uh, you have not huge controls on alphas, and if you want to have this kind of uh, cool uh, preset and um, have a nice uh, skater option, it's complicated. So all this stuff is um, in one with uh, the cool plugin YY Ramp Plus Plus. Uh, you see that uh, it's like the ramp, uh, but you have here uh, controls on the alpha and you have more uh, ramp shapes. So I invite you to go uh, on aescripts.com yyramp plus and uh, here you have a sug suggested price, but don't be afraid, it's name your own price. So if you're a beginner, student, or if you just want to uh, be sure that uh, you need this plugin, you can eat zero or a small uh, price like five dollars. I invite you to uh, support Andrew, and maybe if you just leave uh, one dollar, uh, it's uh, better uh, because we need to support all the guy who uh, help us to achieve or looks uh, more simple and so if your student just hit zero and thanks to Andrew to release this for free. So uh, I will uh, choose um, radial ramp and put this corner, uh, this control point in the corner there and the other control there. I will take my uh, Bro Safari uh, video as a reference, so I will take it and put it in my right screen. Uh, I will now uh, use the color picker to uh, take colors. You can take the color you want for your um, for your video. So I will choose my uh, two colors there. And now we need to avoid uh, the scattering effects there, which looks very horrible. And we achieve that by uh, adding some noise uh, there in the ramp scatter. So I will add uh, this and um, with uh, 200, this makes the job. As you see, we have a small amount of noise. Uh, the Adding of noise uh, is very helpful too when you make uh, some video clips. I used to work on uh, some uh, on a, a, a great amount of video clips, and uh, when you shot some uh, stuff at night, you have uh, big noises caused by the camera, and sometimes you use uh, plugins uh, like Denoiser 2 to remove kind of noise but then it looks a bit strange to the eye and to have a better color blending and uh, some uniform um, look at the video it's uh, quite often we had some noise so you have a uh, simple noise in uh, After Effects you have add grain and for example you choose uh, this uh, Eastman color height and uh, this will add uh, even noise everywhere so when you will watch uh, the video the new video when you remove the uneven noise and have an even noise uh, this will look better to the eye so that that was just the short tips if you're shooting for example video clips for bands or stuff like that if you have too much uneven noise, I invite you to remove the noise with uh, denoiser and re-add some even noise and uh, this will always look better. So now we have uh, this uh, background 
and now I will uh, create um, my Tao layer. So I will hit Tao and uh, have my trap code Tao uh, there. I will uh, don't. Uh, I will not explain all uh, the stuff about Trapcode Tao because there is a lot of cool tutorials on Red Giant channel and other channels to uh, learn how it works. So right now I will just um, explain you how to achieve the Bro Safari uh, looks and that's uh, all and uh, maybe you will learn something but uh, not going uh, in every options. So in the paste generator I will choose a fractal uh, shape and I will increase the fractal length to have a different shape. Uh, just go and choose a shape uh, that you like and then I added a small taper and it's, this is cool. Uh, I will not go uh, too much over these options. And now I go into the segment uh, tab and choose the repeat and go. We need to add uh, more segments. So I go, for example, at uh, 250. And this is very cool because it, it looks like a dragon. Uh, a technological dragon you can uh, go there and add some trickings to uh, have different shapes different lookings and uh, this is nice you have uh, some randomness I used to uh, I animate all that to have a cool animated background so I, I will just click on uh, random position X there and go to the end and add, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, this kind of value maybe. And so all over the time I will have stuff moving. And as you see, it moves very quickly. The 3D shape uh, is very responsive. And this is what I'm looking for uh, to uh, quickly have a great result. So now I will go into my repeater to create a complex uh, 3D wall. So I will use the first repeater and set uh, one uh, repetition and I will increase the wall position uh, X. I will uh, rotate uh, to have a different uh, look and I I maybe will uh, tweak it a bit uh, to have a, um, a, a look I like. So uh, I like this look, and I will move a bit in uh, in um, Z uh, to achieve uh, some a nice look with some depth. I will now add the second repeater and uh, it one two to have two uh, shapes uh, and I will move uh, them in uh, Y so now I have a much more complex wall I will to play with C uh, this uh, kind of look nice because we have this in the front we have some uh, stuff uh, in back and this looks complex very uh, very simply and uh, that's okay for me now I will go into the fractal displays and uh, for example uh, play a bit with the value choose this one to add more randomness and I will uh, for example set uh, an evolution over time so all over time I will have uh, stuff moving and this is uh, what I want uh, to have my uh, background. Uh, as you see, very, very simply, I can achieve a cool abstract result uh, without uh, going into some uh, bones breaking in mind. I will now choose my color and choose, uh, for example, um, 
purple. Uh, this purple is kind of nice. And uh, I can tweak some settings. For example, I can remove remove a bit um, the specularity to uh, have less of these uh, highlights. Uh, I can increase uh, some parameters and to tweak the look, add a bit of Fresnel. Uh, this is very nice. You can use two uh, HG array to uh, light your uh, scene, but I don't want to use uh, this uh, for my setup. So just move and uh, go into um, visibility, and I will add a bit of fog uh, to fake some depth. So there I will uh, just uh, tweak the parameters and I will go into uh, this kind of blending and now I will choose something more uh, uh, purple to fake a depth uh, this is calculate uh, uh, very very fast and you can too go in rendering mode and choose uh, to play with the depth if, if you have a camera and if you uh, need to uh, create a real depth because uh, Tao uh, 1.0 is not uh, supporting for the moment the camera uh, depth of field so you need to fake uh, to recreate this with uh, render mode but I prefer using uh, for this setup uh, a small fog. Now in rendering I will uh, choose a front file back wire to add small lines all around my trap called Tao and now you, you have these very cool lines but this looks like a bit crap that's because we don't have a um, super sample uh, night sam super sample uh, doing a great job as you see everything looks better right now and you can go to more samples but uh, nine, 9 do a pretty good job uh, I will add a second pass for wireframes and this is where I added my uh, kind of light blue pace uh, for the Bro Safari uh, video, uh, you can like or dislike this kind of looks, but uh, I I f I like it. Um, so uh, you can uh, put other color if you want, maybe something more subtle or black to fake some uh, draw shapes or gray if you want something uh, like this and uh, we have a fucking good uh, 3D universe right now I can create my camera move a bit in the 3D space and this looks very nice and this is uh, rendering very fast and this is moving over time so this is uh, everything I want to add my uh, my lyrics, and this is uh, fucking fucking good. Uh, I will create uh, another camera. You can choose another angle. You can choose uh, a 50 millimeter angles to avoid the uh, camera deformation. So uh, here we have the preset. Um, uh, like we created it uh, uh, without any uh, lens deformation. I can jump now into my color grading and uh, you can color grade uh, by yourself uh, using a curves or you can, or you can uh, use uh, looks by Magic Bullet which is uh, very nice, I uh, use it uh, sometimes because it have a uh, cool uh, effect uh, we will not take too much time into uh, tweaking uh, because I don't want to uh, take uh, 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 I don't want to do um, a, a tutorial about magic bullet look so I will just uh, choose a quick uh, 
a quick preset uh, like we will choose this one uh, totally randomly and maybe trick it at uh, at uh, reduce it maybe I don't know trick it and uh, I like to add my own vignette so I do just remove this vignette and I add my own uh, I like the sapphire vignette if uh, maybe I can learn you learn you another plugin uh, sapphire vignette is a cool vignette with a lot of control uh, maybe add the radius of one and uh, now we have uh, this cool uh, vignette uh, I don't like so much the looks so for example I can add extra curves to uh, color correct it a bit uh, so I, I can just make some quick quick modification there jump into the blue add more uh, blue uh, shadows uh, remove a bit the up blue can go back into my ramp and add some more uh, purple uh, and maybe have a lighter blue uh, that's uh, just tweak it uh, like uh, you want uh, consider it taking uh, your um, color grading consideration and now this is uh, for me a very cool looking uh, stuff maybe I can reduce a bit my vignette I like 1.1 1 .1, 1 .1, okay and uh, now I can uh, add my text and this is a uh, ugly font but that's not a problem and now I can put this in 3D and move it and now you can animate your fonts and wow this is in 3D space this is very nice uh, I move it too much in Z so I need to maybe have something more like that uh, there this looks behind this uh, shape so you need to adjust and uh, make things uh, match with your scene which is not the topic of the video I think the tutorial is uh, quite uh, long uh, for the moment and uh, this looks nice and uh, then I added uh, some uh, null to the camera uh, and you can uh, put this in 3D and for example add this kind of cool uh, deformations and now we move over time and we can move over time to uh, in Z so I can uh, take this and now uh, go back a bit and you can play with your key and now we move over time into this crazy 3d space wow fantastic uh, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, learned uh, very cool uh, stuff and uh, maybe see you uh, next time on the channel uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and if you want English tutorials, you must watch because we are French and uh, most of the content is uh, French. So if you want English uh, tutorials, uh, jump and watch when this is uh, the fucking great English flag and uh, you can enjoy uh, all great accents if you're new you can join us to in, uh, the instagram mhs prod uh, i run another page called motion designers too and i try to share a lot of cool inspirational stuff so if you want to join and have great inspirational stuff you can uh, join too motion designers and you can submit your renders uh, using the hashtag md community and uh, 
we have fucking great design there uh, that I must reshare and uh, I watch closely all the design and uh, I uh, share uh, some of uh, my favorites uh, I cannot share all but I love and there's a lot uh, of subs as you see fucking great and uh, I have to uh, be honest I, I'm fucking new to this to this uh, shit and uh, I, I think I, <laughs> I must update my work but if you are in, on Beyonce too maybe uh, we can join uh, some some people tell me that I must join it so I joined and wow you can uh, you can click uh, on my profiles or send me uh, 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 bad words into a private message so see you next time guys i hope you enjoy this uh, trap code tao tutorials enjoy bro safari and uh, be sure to subscribe uh, also to uh, everyone <laughs> see you